We regret to inform you that many of your favorite local fast food restaurants may soon close. As the fast food industry prepares for the upcoming year, businesses are re-evaluating their operations, closing profitable locations, and selecting which locations will compete in 2024. The competition is fierce, and since consumers are expected to spend less on eating out, brands must adapt to the new market and close locations that could harm their growth. In fact, some well-known restaurants are having trouble, and today we'll tell you about 10 fast food chains that are closing locations in the U.S. Number 10. Starbucks. Due to the high crime rate and unsafe environment in San Francisco, a number of Starbucks locations are closing this year. Last month, Starbucks announced plans to close seven of its coffee shops in the city, which had been plagued by robberies and injuries to patrons over the previous year. Additionally, Starbucks examined their revenue and discovered that it was insufficient since less people were visiting these locations due to a lack of adequate law enforcement, which resulted in lower revenue. Not only is Starbucks not the only business doing this year, over 17 other retailers have closed their doors in San Francisco, including Walgreens, Nordstrom's, Office Depot, and Old Navy. Number 9. Pizzeria Local Neighborhood Pizzeria under the ownership of Chipotle Mexican Girl has been struggling for a number of years. Since 2018, they have shut down over 65 locations in Cincinnati and Kansas City. This summer, Chipotle announced that they were giving up on the pizza franchise and that they would begin closing on July 10 before the end of the year. People will miss Pizzeria Local, a little chain of pizza eateries that will soon close along with the other five Denver locations. Number 8. Thank God It's Friday During the pandemic, some of TGI Friday's restaurants closed, and the company's former CEO Ray Blanchett expressed concern that more would follow. He said that it's difficult to recover from such a large drop in sales and that some locations would undoubtedly close forever. Sadly, his prediction came true. At the beginning of 2021, there were 386 TGI Fridays. By January 2023, there were only 309. They're now making changes to do well in 2024 and beyond some restaurants have. Already closed, they're also trying to open more locations in South and Southeast Asia. Number 7. KFC Due to a decline in revenues, the well-known fast-food giant KFC is closing many of its locations. Although they opened some new locations in 2022, the parent Yum! brands of the company reported a 25% decrease in earnings for the first quarter of 2023 due to the fact that fewer people were dining at the restaurant. Since 2020, about 70 KFC restaurants have closed, with 35 of them closing in the last year. As a result, their revenue decreased by 1.1% 1. 1 for the first quarter of 2023, though the most recent data is not yet available. Due to poor performance, KFC is also departing the state of Louisiana, with some shops closing without warning. Young Brands is examining other chains, such as Taco Bell and Pizza Hut, to determine whether they should implement similar adjustments. Number 6. Bojangles Bojangles, a popular restaurant chain known for its delicious Cajun-style fried chicken and biscuits, is making some significant changes to the way it does business. First, in 2020, 23 of its restaurants in North Carolina and Tennessee were closed. More recently, in 2023, some of its Florida locations closed for good and all of Bojangles' locations in Jacksonville closed. Bojangles is closing these locations because some of their locations aren't making enough money Next year, the company plans to open more restaurants in Los Angeles and other Californian cities. The unexpected aspect is that Bojangles CEO Jose Amario stated in an interview that he wants to see selling chicken and concentrate on developing a distinctive dining experience. They're also shifting away from traditional fast food and towards nicer options, which could result in increased menu costs. Number 5 Firehouse Subs Established in 1994 by two brothers who were firefighters, Firehouse Subs is a sandwich chain that has over 1,200 locations in the U.S., Canada, and Puerto Rico. However, the chain is facing challenges from its largest operators and increased competition from other large sandwich shops such as Jimmy Johnson. The biggest problem is the amount of debt that franchise owners have accumulated in recent years. For instance, a minion operator in Annapolis recently filed for bankruptcy owing more than $1 million and having just $68,000 in assets. 
The operator was unable to make a deal with creditors and was unable to find a new buyer to take over their restaurants. Despite this, the number of customers visiting Subway decreased by 9% in the quarter ending in June. Now all their stalls in the state are closing for good. Number 4. Steak and Shake Steak and Shake, a popular fast food chain, primarily in the Midwest, has been losing customers over time due to poor service and poor food quality. In 2021, the company nearly went bankrupt, and some experts believe that despite their efforts to increase profits, they are still in danger. As a result, they recently closed eight of their company-owned locations and 16 franchisee-operated ones, which should save the company approximately $38 million over the next four years. Number 3. Arby's Arby's, a popular fast food restaurant chain known for its roast beef sandwiches and curly fries, was doing well after the COVID-19 pandemic in early 2022. Sales at their existing stores dropped by 88.7% in the first quarter of 2023, and then by 11.5% in the second quarter. Some of their franchisees are having financial difficulties, and RBS is attempting to work with banks to obtain a line of credit and renegotiate leases with landlords to help franchise avoid bankruptcy and store closures. However, with rising interest rates, Arby's will find it difficult to recover. In fact, they have already closed some of their oldest locations in Santa Maria, California, and Houston, Texas. Additional closures in San Francisco and San Antonio are planned, and it appears that they may have 8% fewer locations by the end of 2024. Number 2. Papa Murphy's In 2022, the well-known pizza chain Papa Murphy's faced difficulties. The Papa Murphy's parent company, MATY Food Group, was disappointed to have to close 72 franchise locations, which negatively impacted the company's earnings. We closed a number of stores in 2022, but regretfully, MTY CEO Eric Leffer told analysts on Wednesday that performance is not where MTY hopes it will be. MTY hopes that things will improve next year. Papa Murphy's is having trouble expanding outside of the Northwest. Out of the 32 restaurants, 5.8% had subpar sales in the second quarter. Of those, 16 have not turned a profit since mid-2022, and shareholders are urging the firm to close those locations. It's possible that more Papa Murphy's locations will close shortly. Number 1. Baskin Robbins People are wondering if Baskin Robbins can stay in business for the next five years, while Dunkin' Donuts makes the majority of the money for inspired brands in 2023. Baskin Robbins only brings in a small amount with Dunkin' Donuts doing so well, making it surprising that Baskin Robbins is still open. Baskin Robbins, the ice cream store owned by inspired brands, hasn't been doing very well lately. They only opened four new stores in the U.S. in the last five years, which is much less than the parent company's other brand, Dunkin' Donuts. According to recent rumors, 13 Baskin Robbins locations in North Carolina and eight in Kansas will close by the end of the year. This follows the chain's 64 store closures between June 2022 and June this year. For the majority of these businesses, closing stores is not something they want to do, but they must safeguard their operations in order to survive. As the economy deteriorates, this is likely to happen more frequently, so we may need to say bye to more cherished restaurants before the year ends. So which restaurant closures surprised you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and if you found this video informative, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more updates. Thanks for watching.